Welcome to another video for Auto Solutions Checkpoint. My name is Taz, and today I'll be showing you how to use a spring compressor. Uh, so we're going to compress this off, take the top suspension mount off, um, and obviously replace. Um, now, this year one's already been done, but I'm just going to do it again just to show you what's all involved now these have a top suspension mount as well so whenever you're removing them you do run the risk of it popping off and the bearing jumping out if it does you need to make sure that you get every single bit of your bearing back in and compressed down assembled back together if you're lucky enough to have one of these in your garage you know how they're like gold uh, they make your job so much easier they're a lot more safer to use than the more conventional ones uh, so basically you're wanting to clamp these three coils right you don't want to be too close to that right it's not gonna work okay so you get in at the side right and you should have a bit of leverage here you get your buzz gun if you don't have a buzz gun, use a, use a ratchet. Here we go. Ready to zap it. And what we want to do is at the top of this. Now this is off a Skoda Yeti. Right, so it's a 21 mil socket to the top of the strut. Now, occasionally you get one of these here that are, are stuck. Um, so you need an Allen key for the inside of it uh, but if you don't have an allen key and um, if you've got a torx or something sometimes you can get away with putting a torque in a male torque right so go zap this off just always remember that you've got your shape your safety goggles and everything on not do not that the safety goggles will save you if anything was to hang off for this year it's always better to be safe than sorry. We've got it off now. You just simply want to shimmy this here out the top suspension mount. Okay. You want to release the spring. Okay. So you want to put your 22mm back on. Um, so that's right. Right. Just make sure you've got a good hold of that. Um, inside, you've got your wee rubber button. With a wee uh, dampener inside. And remove your spring. Uh, so once you've got this here for you want to you want to make sure see your top suspension mount you want to make sure it's in good condition and working properly you don't hear any kind of sandy kind of grit right so you want to split it out Right. In the city, the FTSE 100 yeah. displays down 74 points at 75.32. That off, yeah. Healthy sea weather, a dry and clear night for all. Lows of 5. Cloudy with spells of rain in Northern Ireland tomorrow. You want to make sure that there's plenty of breeze inside this as well. Highs of 19 there's plenty of breeze. Just place the bearing Fox. back on. That makes it nice and snug. And then you just place the bearing back together again. 
Telegraph reports that England's Transport Secretary Grant Shapps was due to hold crisis talks with the airlines this afternoon. The Express says failing So once that's perfect, uh, you just start by positioning your uh, spring back on. You might be saying, hey, hey, uh, on the base of this, the base of your strut, um, you've actually got just a wee step here, so you want to make sure that the base of your spring is resting on the little step. Okay, and then that makes it a nice snug fit, right, because if you don't have that in, the position of it, it's not going to work every time you turn your car, it's going to clunk, it's not going to be right, so I'm going to get the boots back on. At a meeting of the Transport Select Committee on April the 27th, Grant Shapps appeared to blame some of the problems related to airport travel on the UK's successful vaccine. They're both fiddly going on, but once it's on, it's on. No problem. If it is true, no problem at all. That the destruction was worse here than in any other. So you're making sure that that boot is back on, located properly. Right, and then you need to get your spring compressor back on. Also speaking the month before last, Grant Shack said the Department for Transport would be fast tracking so we are ready to rock and roll. Uh, industry shortages. I can't, and you wouldn't, the committee wouldn't expect me to, uh, compromise in any way, shape, or form with any security and safety. Uh, but I have looked at the rules and found uh, an area where we can assist with bureaucracy. Uh, you want to make sure you get a good grip of it? You want it stuck on anything? Is it absolutely pointless? Absolutely pointless if you go to this year degree and it's not on you. You need to make sure it's seated properly. The last thing you want to do is put it all back together again and realise that you've not done it right. Okay, so you will take your sub suspension mode. Other jobs. Obviously, we asked uh, the transport secretary. We so far away tonight. Our interviewer can be a bit fiddly, but I get a statement. I won't trouble you with all of it. Do it once the words. We will be meeting with airports, airlines, and ground handlers again. The government has done its part. Yes, so on. I'm ready to zap this back up. Okay. Okay, before you zap it up, just double check, triple check, make sure the, the spring hasn't moved out of its seat. Okay, so everything's fine and we're good to go. We're going to zap this down. Now, on this occasion, you're getting the strut is actually spinning. Um, so, I'm just going to get an Allen key. So just make sure that the top suspension mount is tight. Right, also your top suspension mount needs to be in a specific position. Right. So Otherwise the holes, you've got three holes at the top and they don't line up whenever you're putting the back on the car. Isn't ideal, but hey ho, that's just the way manufacturers make things, eh? So if this is all new to you and you're working on your own car, um, just obviously take your time with it. Don't be stressing with it, because Rome wasn't built in a day. you just got to make sure that everything is put back together again properly, and you'll not go wrong. Job done. Um, that's the new spring on, and um, put back together again. Um, 
So just go to put it back on the car. Now, I didn't do a video yesterday whenever I was removing it. Um, but we'll do a video filmed back up and we'll be able to see just the big mill so you just do the reverse rigmarole um, when you're taking it off the industry were warned by us during the pandemic that unless okay, you so when you're putting the strap back on, to retain their staff, the downturn, top suspension mount hundreds of millions has arrows. Short sighted management and hey, refusal that by the government to intervene that needs to be on the inside is to blame for this transport okay. crisis. Now, Peter, on these, again, we invited. The same way to disconnect the drive shaft, I don't. Made an open I just put a wee pry bar in the hole to and bring it down. Today. Just gives you that wee bit of extra leeway with it. Let's turn to uh, what to Boris Johnson's been saying today. He's denied being a habitual liar the day after his ethics advisor threatened to resign over the Diamond Street parties. Ben Kentish is LBC's Westminster editor and host of Last Night Tonight with Andrew Kentish. Uh, ben, uh, tell us about Scott, where do you want to start this afternoon in charge? charge? <laughs> uh, let's start with Mum's Net, shall we? Any words I never quite expected I would say to you. If you were wondering what Boris Johnson's face is, uh, the new resignation will be forthcoming. Uh, before you go, what it's just fiddly more than anything, but don't be afraid of it. Just as long, see whenever you're putting it on, just don't use uh, like ratchets or like a buzz gun or anything uh, to get them in. Make sure you're putting the first four threads in by hand, right? And if there's any resistance whatsoever, you need to hold the you need to hold the strut from the underside, right? But if there's any resistance whatsoever and it's not going any easier when you move the strut from side to side ever so slightly, you're not going in on the right thread, so you want to make sure that it's in on the right thread. Okay. Especially because of how it's positioned in, because you don't want to get anything stuck. Um, otherwise you would need to grind the, the ends off these. You just make sure that it's done right. Okay, so we're ready now to locate the shot in its home. Right, so all I've done is just a bar in the hole. Just a pipe on the top of it, right up to the top. So that'll give me a wee bit of wee bit of leverage. So I'm putting my weight on this. You could be eligible for significant compensation. It's easy to sign up. Simply head to mydieselclaim.com and start your claim today. I might need to persuade it here. Yeah. 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 Just need to line the guide up, the bit I was telling you about at the back. Um, right, so that's a good. Um, just got a bolt to grab the jack. Doesn't really matter what you use here. Um, I'm using the. I'm just using the hammer upside down. You just need to jack it up. You wish you could have that first bite feeling all over again. Well, look at you the Grand Big Mac and the Grand Big Mac bacon are back at McDonald's. So you can spend long and taste you love. Yeah, so that should be us. Good to go now. To the 7th of June, participating in Russian Germany is subject to availability. Yeah, 
So that's in as far as it'll go. Get BT's unbreakable hybrid broadband backed up by EEP UK's best network. Search BT hybrid broadband. Put that in at the back. UK availability. 4G connection takes up to 100 seconds. Best of mobile network performance verified at ee.co.uk forward slash claims. The Furniture Village sale ends this Sunday. And right now, there are five months. It's causing just as much long COVID as previous variants. Therefore, there is no reason to suspect that well, just because mil- hospitalizations are under control, that ICUs and death rates are thankfully where we are trying to You want to make sure that this is properly tight because your hub is like a clamp at the back and the clamp so needs to be hugging that properly right? because you, you don't want that coming out at all you know, especially on the rough roads, potholes, things like that you want to make sure it's nice and tight and we're going to loosen that A lot of people like using buzz guns and things on this, but aye, if you're loosening it and you've got no other choice, use a buzz gun, but see for tightening, don't do it, see as much time as it saves, just don't do it, because you don't want to make work for yourself, and taking that wee bit of extra time, you know that you're not compromising a customer safety, and that's the main thing. Making the brain, making the guts, and there's, there's good evidence to support both of those, and we've seen that with other conditions. So, for example, right. the shoes, so, it's just a case of where the deep point here, the deep point there, and comes out when you're run down. So, I get a crack on. Group of people who believe that the long COVID is just another summer event about. Then there's also a separate group who believe that there's just an altered immune response to the, the COVID infection you have that just perpetuates in the longer term. Now, these two may be... Um, just started off the hand. ...might explain why we're seeing such different... <laughs> You want to put your ABS centre back on as well. There we go. And the drop link. Thanks for me to sit down. Clinical lecturer at the University of Essex. We spent a lot of time on Monday night show talking about Saturday's Champions League final. Not so much the football, but what went on before. I found myself watching that match based on what I'd seen and what I'd been told. But the game became very relevant um, to me. I, I just wanted to get away from the ground as quickly as possible. Uh, they're certainly going to say book their ideas up. That's a light, a light term. Uh, the whole issue is, is, is due, as far as I'm concerned. Hey, there you go. The investigations that I've just done back up. Few days, it's a local planning issue where they they got everything wrong. Everything they could, they, every important issue they could get wrong, they did get wrong. Local planners. UEFA and um, 